Right, it's been one month now since the last day of school, yet some teachers are still waiting for their paychecks. Teachers at the now closed Derek Thomas Academy are speaking out for the first time. Mitch Weber spoke with them, and he joins us from outside the former DTA building. Mitch? Hey guys, yeah, these uh, teachers that I spoke with tonight, they are sing some of them are single mothers and they have a family to support. So they also, they don't have a paycheck and they also don't have health insurance. And now they're just trying to figure out their next move. This is the worst situation. These former teachers don't want to be identified by name, but they want to tell their story about their experience at the now closed school. Uh, it, it's, it's frustrating, you know, you spend your time um, working at a place that you truly love. Um, you see things just kind of fall apart over the course of the year. Things that are out of your control, things that are out of the students' control. The principal at Allen Village Charter School, Phyllis Washington, was named interim principal at Derrick Thomas Academy at the end of last year after the school lost its sponsor. Last Friday, most of the teachers discovered their final paychecks were never deposited. You know, we were under contract through June 30th. I worked my butt off, and I know all these teachers here did, and I just want justice to be served. We, we worked for that money. We earned for that money. We don't have the money to not have that money. We live on a very tight budget, so going without a check might not hurt a lot, of, but it, a teacher, it, yeah, it hits us hard. A definite surprise. The DTA attorney didn't send them an email to alert them until early that afternoon. I reached out to DTA attorney Dana Cutler last Friday and was told she won't return to the office until June 10th. So I went to talk with Principal Washington at Allen Village, where she is principal. She told me to call the DTA attorney before she hung up on me. It breaks my heart that this one didn't work. It but I want those kids, I want them to be proud that they came here. I want them to be proud that they were taught by us. And I want them to take what they've learned and to go on and accomplish their dreams. And I also reached out to Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. A spokesperson told me that the money owed to the teachers, well, it's held up in court because of pending litigation between DTA and Edison Learning Center. Trust us to keep you updated on this story and bring you any updates as they become available. Live in Kansas City tonight, Mitch Weber, 41 Action News.